Alrighty folks, uh, welcome back to our TM4 drivetrain project. Well, falling out of my standing. Um, so, the, the good news is we've got it to spin. Um, yay. There were a few screw ups along the way, uh, mostly mine. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to walk you guys through <coughs> what we've got going on now. And uh, we'll do a very quick, simple demo, and then I'm going to get some food because I'm hungry. Okay, here it goes. So, uh, over here, we have our TM4 drive unit up on the bench. Um, we've got it connected to the inver inverter, and this is the, this is the control box with the encoder cable from the motor going to the inverter uh, three phase cables from the inverter to the motor and we've got our power and CAN bus cable going in here so over here you'll rem remember this thing this is the kind of what they call the VMU or the ECU this is what takes in all the signals from the car uh, you know, signals from BMS, ABS, uh, throttle pedal, uh, gear lever, all that, and decides what CAN messages that we send down to the inverter that tells it, uh, you know, how much torque we need and in what direction and, wh and whether it's traction torque or regen torque. So, that's fine. So, um... Problem, as I might have mentioned last time, I'm not sure if I did, is that this thing needs a plethora of signals uh, before it will decide to allow me to uh, move the motor. Um, not least of which it needs CAN messages from the BMS to tell it all kinds of things uh, that we don't have any info on. So, but, good news is, uh, we don't need any of that crap at all. So what we've done is we've figured out the CAN messages. Um, that took a bit more brain power than I had. Uh, but we got there. And <clears throat> it turns out you've only got to send it two CAN messages uh, really, really fast. Uh, but, but only two me messages and it'll, it'll start do, doing things. So we've replaced all this rat's nest here uh, with a simple Arduino and a, um, a, a CAN bus shield on it. I've actually got two of them. Uh, this one is just logging the CAN messages back to this laptop here. And this one has the Arduino environment on it. And I'm programming it to tell this one to send messages to the inverter. So... Down here, I got my battery. Uh, it's about 315 volts worth of battery hooked up there at the minute. That's connected in a super sketchy way to the, uh, <laughs> to the DC input of the inverter. As you can see, we have a, a mere 315 volts on the inverter bus now. Um, that is a element from the electric cooker. Uh, that's my kind of safety device and it means I don't have to mess around with pre-charging circuits and so forth. Uh, so, um, okay, let's, let's spin the damn thing, right? Now you're probably sick of hearing me talking by now. Okay. Alright, so this is super sketchy crazy at the minute. Uh, so what we're going to do... I, I don't have any controls here, throttles, on off switches, all that, so we're just, this is a first attempt. So, we're going to reset the 12 volts to the in, inverter. Um, so that is the inverter powered up, and it's, is it sending its messages? It is, woohoo. Now, what's going to happen is, I'm going to plug this USB cable into the laptop, which is going to power up this Arduino, it's going to immediately start pumping CAN messages into the, this thing, asking it for 4 newton meters of torque. Um, we will accelerate a little bit, then you'll hear the inverter shut down. And the reason it's doing that 
is because of the heater element on the battery as the motor accelerates and the inverter tries to draw more current it'll create a voltage drop it'll go below the minimum voltage for the inverter and shut itself down but that's no big deal uh, it's just to prove that the thing works so I'm still talking why am I not plugging there we go There you have it folks, not exactly the most exciting video in my repertoire, but this thing works, it's taking the can messages, um, and uh, yeah, woohoo, okay. Alright, so let's do it one more time, I got the camera in one hand, I've got the USB cable in the other, um, here in the other. Uh, come on USB here we go here we, here we, here we go USB on Wow And that is it for your super sketchy TM4 update folks Thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. We'll see you all next time. Um, don't electrocute yourselves, please. Thank you.